Tracy, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. What do we have here? <laughs> so this is our, uh, our cockpit technology demonstrator. Mm -hmm. And so we are showing off uh, a whole bunch of different Collins Aerospace products. Okay. Uh, we have our active side sticks. Yeah. We have our Proline Fusion touchscreen avionics. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our HGS 3500 compact HUD. Yeah. And we have our pilot safety system. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you'd like to have a seat. I'll take a seat, uh, all right. Okay. We'll run you through it. Okay. Nice. So one of the first things I like to go over is yeah. the active side sticks. And oh, so wow. I say active, and you can see that when I move this, it moves both of them. They are cross-coupled. Okay. Uh, and that is uh, that's a pretty big thing because philosophically, it's similar to a yoke. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when you're in a yoke, you, you know, even when you're flying a 172, you know that <laughs> you've got... So it's the same kind of philosophy. Understood. Mm -hmm. uh, along with it, but it's all fly-by-wire. So no, this is completely cool. electronic. Just going to ask, so it's not mechanical? Not mechanical. It's all electronic. So, Lovely. Mm -hmm. So you're actually, uh, over a yoke system, you're removing hundreds of pounds of weight. I understood. Mm -hmm. Way lighter. Yeah. Uh, also, it's full feedback. So yeah. uh, if the, we'd have stick shaker built in, yeah. uh, if if I put this to autopilot, this will still completely fly on its own. You'll oh, still wow. feel that move. Okay. And uh, also, when you have two pilots, mm -hmm. each pilot knows exactly what the other pilot is doing. It's doing, correct. Yeah. Okay. And so we have that coupled in with our Proline Fusion avionics mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the first things uh, to mention is that it is full touchscreen. Okay. Uh, and so what's uh, what's really good about that is it's it's configurable to be as little or as much information as you want as a pilot. All right. So for instance, if uh, I want to change this from charts, mm -hmm. uh, maybe I want to see my FMS. I can mm -hmm. go to this home button, and it brings up my library of options. Yeah. And now I can just right. drag and drop FMS in, and boom! Now I've got my my flight management system right there. Wow. That's pretty intuitive, like that move you just did it. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it gets even more intuitive. Um, yeah. Maybe I want to change my heading. All I mm -hmm. do is just click heading. And if I press heading, yeah. it'll bring up a heading up and I can change it in increments of 10 or one, just like that. Oh, instead of moving the heading bug? Right, so you have both. So everything that can be done by touch can be done with redundant uh, controls as well. Incredible, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you see maybe FMS, I want to change FMS. I just yeah. touch FMS and it brings up the option. So. What we find is that pilots, uh, even who have never seen our system before, yeah. uh, I show them those few things and then they're off and running because it's so intuitive. Because you're not driving down through a bunch of menus. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything can be done in like one or two clicks. Okay. Here's the part that pilots absolutely love. Right now I'm just flying a hold pattern. Yeah. But if I want to change my flight plan, maybe I've got a weather cell that I want to mm -hmm. circumnavigate. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go through and uh, punch in a bunch of waypoints. Yeah. I can actually just click on the aircraft, hit reroute, Rose. and then whenever, wherever I press becomes a new lat long waypoint. You are kidding. <laughs> and that's it. And so that's automatically updating your flight management system, recalculating the uh, range and, and fuel usage. Done. Beautiful. Another piece of uh, really impressive tech yeah. is our uh, compact heads up guidance system. Okay. So now, of course, you're familiar with the HUD. Uh, usually has a big uh, projector above your head. Correct. Uh, and so what we've done is made it much, much smaller. Mm -hmm, and in mm -hmm. fact, this HUD is actually just this part. This is just part of the, the cover for the wires. It's okay. only this part. Wow. Uh, and the way we do it is we actually take the, we project the image directly through here through a waveguide technology directly into the glass. Yes, wow. And there's layers in the glass that then project the image outward toward you. Incredible.